Hello everybody. Welcome to another short ride. This one is number 100. Wow. Cannot hardly believe it. We've done a hundred of these. Well, and, um, and, this, and the audiences have been so good. Uh, very, very uh, thankful that everybody's enjoyed these. Uh, and uh, this one, we got a, a special, one of the special, most special guys that uh, I was ever around in the wrestling business. Uh, this one is going to be on uh, Adrian the Street. And everybody loves Adrian Street. I've noticed when I uh, go back and look at some of the numbers, uh, who seems to get a lot of audience. Every time we do these Adrian Street things, uh, we have a big, big audience. And uh, this one is, uh, we did this on Continentals. I think it's a show number 11, the 11th Continental Championship Wrestling Show we did. And, uh, we did every week uh, a Stars of the NWA special. And this one is one of those NWA uh, stars. And, uh, and the NWA star is Adrian Street. And wow, he was truly a star. At this point, he was the Southeastern champion. This was in 1985, summer of 1985, getting close to the fall of 85. He had been there for about uh, three months. He was on fire. I mean, fans were just nuts about him. I mean, they hated him, but they loved to hate him. He was just a, an amazing piece of work, Adrian Street. A wonderful person, a tremendous guy. Him and Linda, his, his wife, Wow, uh, two of the greatest people on the planet. And, uh, you know, I really, really admired him. And uh, let's take a look at this one. This is a great, great special. And uh, you're going to see Adrian uh, at one of his best. This week's feature on stars of the NWA here on Continental Championship Wrestling concerns the Southeastern heavyweight wrestling champion, the exotic Adrian Street. We have a special on him that I think you're going to find very, very interesting. Let's go to the exotic Adrian Street. probably that had more specials like that than Adrian Street. I mean, he loved doing them. Uh, he had so many different outfits. He had so many different belts. He had, a, he had, he was just a, he was a trip. He was a real trip uh, to be around. Uh, 
and I felt, uh, and he stayed with me for, gosh, uh, three, three, three years, um, and uh, never, never left, never went to another territory, uh, lived in Pensacola, stayed there. Even when he had to leave the territory and go to work in other parts of the country, he still stayed down there in Pensacola. He just fell in love with that part of the country, and Great, great wrestler and a great, great loss to all of us. Uh, one of the greatest that ever lived.